So my research really happens at the intersection of science communication, science literacy, education, and extension. I'm really curious in finding out how we can create online learning and teaching spaces that increase youth, college students, and adult learners' interest in science and also help them apply scientific topics to their everyday life. So a lot of times the research questions that we have in science communication are how do we design something, develop something, create something that will appeal to people? So my research oftentimes looks at how can I get kids interested in science? And as part of that, how can I also train college students to help the those children become more interested in science. And so we do a lot of work with electronic field trips where college students are learning how to create the electronic field trips and develop their science communication skills. And then our research looks at what are the youth learning in those electronic field trip programs? Are we now because we had an electronic field trip about water or bats or conservation, have we raised the children's awareness? Have we engaged them with that scientist? and potentially uh, led to them being interested in those science careers. So a lot of times my research is very applied and it's looking at the development of science communication programs and how they are impacting people's learning and application of those topics. So Streaming Science is a student-driven science literacy platform and so the impact that I am already seeing it have is undergraduate and graduate students are developing their multimedia skills such as photography, videography, writing, all of those great skills that we hope they have and they're creating really great uh, products for public audiences such as photo essays, podcasts, electronic field trips. So I'm already seeing a lot of great skills-based impact of our program and then I'm also seeing them increase their learning and awareness about what a scientist does and what it, where a scientist works. We took students out to Austin Carey Forest to learn how to use 360 degree storytelling technology and create an electronic field trip and they learned about prescribed burning and climate change and they would have never had that opportunity before if we wouldn't have had that application through streaming science. The other thing that I'm seeing impacts on is just children being excited about science and coming to our electronic field trips and thinking, what is an entomologist? Where does one work? And then they get to talk to an entomologist and ask her questions. So it's exciting to see those really direct impacts right away, but also in some of our research and survey data that we collect along the way. So the ultimate goal of streaming science is to have undergraduates and graduate students develop their science communication skills, as well as scientists have a space to share their research and work with public audiences, as well as teachers and youth to connect with all of that information and be able to utilize it in classrooms, clubs, lots of different ways. So our ultimate goal is to have this space where people are increasing their engagement and their science literacy about agriculture and natural resource issues.